So I'm going to show you something today. It's called a popliteal, fo uh, popliteal fossa perforator. Uh, you'll see this type of vein. It's on the back of the, fo the popliteal uh, crease here. And, oh, you know, if you weren't looking better, you'd think it's a short saphenous vein, perhaps. But there's something that's uh, often overlooked in this area or maybe misnomed. It's called a popliteal fossa perforator. And I'll show you on the ultrasound here what it consists of. So when we're imaging the back of the popliteal fossa, this is actually the short saphenous vein here. And the short saphenous vein is fine. You'll look at it, go down, it's small. Uh, it's not reflexing. So you go, hmm, what's that? So as you go up, you start to see this vein on the side and you'll see it come in here. This is the, the vein that we're looking at. And you'll see it come right down into the popliteal vein right here. And this is his popliteal vein. You have this valve that's right here that's broken at the junction of the two. And then you have this kind of torturous vein. It kind of comes up. It never has a very long, straight uh, segment to it. So it's always a little hard to treat. And it comes up and it gives this vein here. And there's a lot of reflux and it's a fairly large vein. You'll see when I check the reflux on it, it's, it's got significant reflux, long duration. So the, the trick on this is how do we treat this? So I was looking at the profile here and you'll see there's just a very small, short segment before it goes into the popliteal vein. Let me see if I can find it here for you. I was doing this before. Uh, let's see here. Let's see where it joins the popliteal vein. Right there. Okay, so you'll see this is the segment we're looking at. So when you look at it on a side view, it's got this little short smack of it that's under the fascia, it comes into this large dilated, um, almost an aneurysm, because this is a popliteal vein, that's the valve that's incompetent. So we've got about this much to work with. So there's not a lot of different options. Again, I'll show you where the valve is broken. It's, it's right here where you, where you see the red when I compress, you'll see all this red coming out. Right, it's a little hard to see on this side view here. It's actually this junction that's closed right here. So our goal is going to be to treat this and we're gonna find a technique to treat it. And I'll give you a little bit of an update on what the options you have for this in the future.